Okay, today I want to show you a technique we use for cutting out our stamped images, and this may help you understand the concept behind the pick scan mat and software that's coming, and also give you a way to do that same kind of thing without having the mat or version 3. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a page that is letter size on a 12 by 12 mat. If you're uh, in the A4 countries, you could use A4 for this. It doesn't really matter the page size. So we're going to set that up. Then we're going to go to registration marks. We're going to turn our registration marks on. And I'm just going to use the defaults. That way I don't have to remember what they were. And I'm going to print this blank page on my paper that I want to stamp on. So just to show you, if I did a print preview, this is what it would look like. It's going to be a blank page with nothing but registration marks on it. Okay, then I'm going to take this, I'm going to lay it down on my stamping desk, and I'm going to stamp my favorite stamps on there. I'm going to stay away from these corners and the area that I know is out of bounds. So I'm going to kind of keep to the middle and keep my stamps separated from each other so that it's easy to work with. I'm going to stamp on that. Then I'm going to put that in my scanner, and I'm going to bring it up and scan it. And... I was hoping the preview was still there. It's not, but basically I scan it uh, 200 dpi color as a JPEG. The dpi is not important, although you probably want at least 100, And but what is important is that you have to save it as a JPEG. And if you're scanning into version 3, if that works for you, you can use that too. Um, I'm pretty sure that that comes in as a JPEG. The reason you want JPEG is because that's going to be the exact size or very close to it. So you want to save this as a JPEG. So I've already put my stamped image in the scanner. I've scanned it and I'm going to, I've saved it to my desktop. So I'm just going to drag it in here. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to bring it in here and you can see I'm going to match up the square at the top and I'm going to match up the two corners. You, let me show you that again. Okay, here's, here it is. I'm matching it up with the registration marks. All right, then I'm going to zoom into the corners, and I'm going to make sure I got pretty close. Well, that's pretty darn on top of things. So I'm pretty happy with that. Going to check that corner. Okay, that looks a little bit long, so let me just see. That square looks pretty close. So I think I need to scooch this up just a little bit. And check my other corner. That looks good. This corner looks good. All right, I'm pretty satisfied that that's close. Okay, so now I've got my image on here and it's lined up with the registration marks. I want to make sure I don't move that until I'm done. And the next thing I'm going to do is trace. So I'm going to select my trace area and I'm going to trace this. And here you have to use your tracing sense. I'm going to turn high pass off. I'm going to turn low pass on. I'm going to put my scale over to about four. And then I'm going to bump my threshold up until I see what it looks like a solid outline. Should be somewhere in the 90s. 90 looks pretty good. And I'm going to click Trace Outer Edge. And then I'm going to move this. And that looks pretty good. I just wanted the outlines. So I want to be sure not to move any of these. So I'm going to, but I need to clean up some messes here. So I'm going to release compound path. And I'm just going to start deleting some of these little, little pieces that are in the way. I'm going to just see if I got any more little pieces. I don't think I do. Whoops. All right, if you mess up, just backspace out. And I'm zooming here just to look at these cut lines. These look pretty good. OK, I've got a little bit of a blivet here but I think that's going to be taken care of in the offset. So I'm, I'm going to offset these because I don't want this cut right around the words. So I'm going to make my offsets. Go to offset, set the distance I want, and then uh, remove the, move. I can apply that, and I'm going to remove the inner one and put that off to the side. I'm going to offset this one a little bit as well. Uh, 
get rid of the inside and um, probably all of these should be offset just a tiny bit so make sure I didn't move that sometimes when you click these they move and you have to be very careful not to move anything because if you move it it will be off off those I could have done this all at once I'm just trying to show you how you would do that all right so I just have these two light bulbs to to offset I think I'll just leave one of them and let it cut tight just to see and I'll offset this one about that much apply that remove the inside okay so now I've got my cutting lines I'm going to just line this back up real quick to see how it looks and it looks pretty good okay so I'm gonna drag this off the mat and make sure this is off the mat too because it's a 12 by 12 mat so I'm gonna go to my cut lines and I'm gonna make sure that everything's good I got something over here that I don't want to get rid of that okay so now I'm gonna load my stamped page which looks just like this onto my mat and I'm gonna cut and I should get perfect cutouts of these because the registration marks are what the machine is looking for for position and as long as the registration marks are in the same position relative to the stamped images on my page on my stamped paper as they are on this file and you can see they should be this should work so that's all there is to it I'm gonna try this and hopefully put the results in uh, somewhere in the comments of this video so that's how you would do it um, not difficult at all and doesn't require a special bat or v3 or anything and um, very easy to do so I uh, hope you found this helpful